Hi, it's Dr. Stan Kucher. I'm continuing to talk about our Africa project. In the earlier vlog, I explained how we brought together radio drama to do mental health awareness and mental health literacy, school-based interventions with uh, the curriculum guide that we developed here in Canada and adapted for Sub-Saharan Africa, with radio listening clubs and peer mental health educators, and in training community health care workers who never before had ever taken care of a young person with depression, bringing all those things together and actually creating for the first time ever, as far as we know, a completely horizontally integrated pathway to youth mental health care for young people in Sub-Saharan Africa. I just want to tell you about some of the amazing results that we've had. So we've trained scores of community health care workers. So these are people who work in tiny little community health centers who never before had been trained on how to identify, diagnose, and effectively treat young people with depression. Now they're doing it, and they're doing it well, and the outcomes are great. We have trained over 400 teachers in schools to provide mental health literacy in regular classrooms and to support the radio listening clubs and to help students understand mental health and mental illness. We have reached over half a million, that's half a million, young people with the radio dramas and have been able to demonstrate using controlled studies significant increases in mental health knowledge and decreases in stigma as a result of those radio programs. Actually, I was in, in Malawi in Tanzania just last week and I visited a nursing college, a place where nursing students train before they go into working in community health centers because we're starting another phase of the project by putting the curriculum into nursing colleges in a, in a test phase. And there were 78 students in the nursing class and I asked them, had they ever heard of the radio program called Nkawaje, which is the Malawian youth radio drama? Every single one of them broke out into applause. They loved it so much. So we are really reaching young people where they are. Over 30,000, over 30,000 young people have participated actively with the radio program through text messages, asking questions, having the questions answered. Over 15,000 young people have been reached in their schools with the information that they need to have. About 3,000 young people have gone and spoken to their teachers about their own mental health concerns and over 1,000 young people have been successfully treated for depression since we began. These are huge numbers. We are so proud to be working with our collaborator Farm Radio International and Farm Radio Trust, funded by Grand Challenges Canada, to do this really innovative and groundbreaking work. This week, I'm in Washington at the World Bank meetings. The program has been identified as one of the most innovative programs globally for addressing mental health challenges across the world. We are so pleased that what we are doing here is having an impact elsewhere. Thanks very much for your time. I'm Dr. Stan Kutcher.